G'day everybody and welcome back to Reactive Gaming with Chris and welcome back to the Sons of the Forest. James and I are going to be doing a little bit of a recap on yesterday's video and we're going to be showing you a few more things that we actually didn't realize. Now a couple of the subscribers, well at least I hope they're subscribers, have uh, put through a few comments that have been really really awesome. First one I want to say thank you and a big shout out to Jermaine Reinhardt. I'm, I really apologize if I'm not saying that correctly. Um, he brought to our attention that they actually have bonfires in the game. Finally, I have been waiting since day one for this bloody thing. So this is pretty cool. We're going to go into our blueprint. So now you've got the two sections there. You've got the switch mode. We're going to go X, go to switch mode, and you will find the instructions on how to actually make it right here. How we missed this, I have no idea, but I'm glad there's some people out there that are very vigilant and I'm very happy. So we're going to quickly build one of these before we actually start the main video. So we're going to be quickly going through and getting all the blueprints for the new machines they've brought. I can't remember what they called. I'm sorry. Um, another person actually brought this to my attention. This one is Yahtzee. Thank you very much, mate. Big shout out for you. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. We were not aware there was a third blueprint that we needed to get other than the, the spring trap one and all the other bits and pieces. Now, this one is supposed to basically scare the cannibals away from your base or your location that you're at we were going to go and get that in one second but first things first let's build ourselves a nice campfire okay just a james so all we need for this one is a couple of sticks on the ground yep oh, i'll light that afterwards uh you need like a normal campfire you get yourself stones nope don't need to worry about stones. You can't uh, put sorry, stones. Rocks. rocks. Well, you, yeah, you don't really... Oh, that's not going to come up straight. Let's do another one. It's weird when you... If you do it on, like, a, a stone or timber or something like that, sometimes yeah. it just doesn't want to come up straight. See how that one's tilting on the side? Yeah, yeah. 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 That means it's not going to be straight. That one's going to be good. That was... That was yeah. Yep. So once you got that, you yeah. get yourself a full-size log, and you'll see it yep. prompt... Those lines there? Yeah. And you just lay them. Oh. Wow. Just like that. Oh, that's cool. How awesome is that? You know how long I've been waiting for this for? Since day one. Because I much? really missed it from the first forest. Yeah. yeah. How many um, logs was that? Yeah. Approximately five. Five logs. Two. So one wall. Four, five, yeah. So four big ones. And mm. looks like it cuts... Oh, no, hang on. That might be more. Might be more like six. I should have counted, eh? Yeah, well, yep. Six logs. Now, I did check it to see how long these last for. It starts yeah. to break down after about five minutes. Now, it doesn't obviously fully go away, but you'll start seeing logs disappear or get smaller. Oh, yeah. You know, starting <laughs> within five minutes, it'll probably last the total of, I want to say, 15 to 20 minutes. Before yep. it goes down to like your normal campfire. Oh, eh? so how awesome is that? That is. Can you cook meat on it and stuff? One way to find out. Let's get some meat in my inventory. Does it give you a prompt to cook anything on it? Let's check. Yes, it does. Yes. Yes, it does. Oh no, it doesn't. No, you can't cook on it. What? What can? You can't do it. Like. I saw the prompt as well, but it doesn't allow me to do it. Huh. No, the prompt is for adding leaves, like on the original forest. Ah, uh, oh yeah. So you can yeah. keep okay. adding leaves and everything like that, but you oh, can't yeah? cook on it. That's a little disappointing. Although, to be honest, you probably wouldn't be able to see your food cooking in there anyway. Yeah. Like if anyone's watching this right now, it's like an inferno in there. Yeah. It is crazy hot. But anyway, that is one of the main things we wanted to show you before we started the main part of the video. I think it's pretty damn awesome. All right. Okay, so the one we're going to go to is the one we missed last night. We'll start with that one first and we'll go through the other ones afterwards. So this one is the Solified Generator, the one we missed. Um, so we'll quickly put the location in. It's just a go-to. It's nice and easy. So let's go to Zone BG. And that should pretty much plop you straight onto the location. Let's go there now. Okay. Okay, so it's going to put you right on the beach here. And it's right up here. This seems to be a new cave as well. I've never seen this one. 
Let's go have a quick sticky beak. Probably need a bit of a light. Oh, okay. Need our axes. Oh, what's going on with the um, lighting? There we go. Usually that's on automatically. Uh, Where are you, James? You're behind me? I'm coming, I'm coming in now, mate. There you are, Just, cool. just walked into the fence. I'm scared of the dark. <laughs> oh, there's nothing in here. Yeah, good. Okay. Well, we've got some bones. Nothing too crazy. There's tape and, and all mis miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, nice, nice. Do you get anything out of my, um, my light there it that is. I'm shining? Okay. Yes. Uh, so we are... Let's look out real quick on the GPS. So if we're heading north, we're down the bottom left-hand side of the map, so the west coast of the map. This whole part seems unfamiliar to me. That's probably because I've never really come down this way. But that'll show you exactly where we are for that one. All right, let's go back to the base and we'll set it up. Alrighty, let's plop this down and see what it does. Cool. Okay, so by activating it, we'll just get our little sphere out. Go do it. And just activate it. Now, this thing is supposed to generate you solophyte, from my understanding. How quick it is, I have no idea, but what we're going to do is we're going to come back to it once we get the other blueprint. So we've got one more blueprint to go and get, and that is the one that scares off the enemies. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I'll find that in a second for you. Alrighty, we're going to go to coordinates. Go to zone WJ. This should bring us to the next location. Okay, so we're just going to use our GPS. Thank you, James. He's good at researching this sort of stuff. <laughs> You're a good lad. You're a good lad. No, no props. Um, so we've got the little orange indicator. So when you go to that zone. Uh, oh, it's down here. Okay, cool. Oh, this is new too. Yeah. Oh, wrong part. No, yeah, up top. Oh my god. I must have buckshot off. Thank you. Alrighty. Let's go Light down. Camera action. So I didn't even know there was so many different blueprints. Yeah. I, I thought we had the um, the main one to get your armor gold, which I'll show everyone in a second, and the teleporter machine, the platform. Yeah. But and, but yeah, there's uh, there's like four items in total, four different blueprints that you like findable blueprints. They've done well. They've done well. All right. Okay. And they're all all worth grabbing too. Yep. Def oh well, there we go. Got it. They're there in the game. You might as well get them, eh? Yeah. Let's, let's go home real quick. I'm going to use a bit of a cheat. Bye. Oh, was it CW? Isn't it? <laughs> CW. Yeah. I got the teleporter machine, so that's yeah. cool. Yeah. I Alrighty. need you to show me how to set that up. Yep. I'll show you right now. I'm still not sure if that actually generates solidified or not. Well, it, in the in the in the video, it shows just spitting it out. Yeah. Okay. It might take a little while because oh. you can turn it on and off. You know that, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that until right this second. All right, we're going to try out the new one. This one is actually supposed to scare off cannibals, which is actually perfect because we got one here right now. Oh, Let's, what's the chances? Eh? What are Destiny. the chances? Let's set this bad boy up. Activate it. Oh, you need some solophyte for it. Oh, is that for my yep. machine? That needs solophyte. Look at her. Wrecking my stuff. All right. Let's activate her. Now, this one is supposed to terrify him and make him run for the hills. So you're supposed to like put this in your base or in location you want to keep him away from. Yeah, yeah, I think she's trying to run away, but she's stuck on a tree. Yep, there we go. Yep, she's gone running. This one is definitely key for your base. Definitely key. Look at her. She's trying to get out, but she can't get out. Oh, yeah. she just got chopped. Ooh, Oops. that sucks. Sucks to be her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So that's how that one works. I couldn't. That couldn't have worked out any better, honestly. 
I'm still waiting for this thing to generate some um, solophite for me. Oh. But this thing is worth its weight in gold right there. I, I really want to know what the um, distance is for it. What sort of like perimeter do we get from it? Or range? I'm assuming we give you decent range. Mm. Hey, Chris. Yeah, mate. Just moving back to the bonfire. Yep. See what's left out of it? Yeah, nothing. But we have we, we have skipped time, like times of yeah. uh, the days and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep that in mind. But yeah, we'll just keep it on that. You want to redo it, though. Just refill it. Just yeah. get some more logs and chuck it back up and it's good to go. And it automatically lights itself, does it? Uh, it was already lit, so you don't need to worry about relighting it. Oh, yeah. Yep. This one here is the one, the main thing you're going to get. So once you go to the... Uh, luxury bunker. You'll find that at the golden door. On the right hand side. I think it's a skeleton or something like that. So what you do when you want to activate this thing here. Is put your armor in there. Your ancient armor. Which you'll find in cave F. Cave F will also have the, the sphere. The actual. The main structure before you put your, solo, um, your artifacts into it. Right. So they'll be in the same location together. And then you need this blueprint to go through the main door to finish the game. Now, to obviously activate it, you've got to chuck some solophyte in there. Oops. It doesn't like me doing it while I got that in my hand. And turn it on. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to work now because I've already done it before. Oh, why is it so hard to get that button? Oh, there we go. Hey, because it's been done before. Oh, no, it's doing it again. Yeah, it'll do it again. But what we're going to get is a ton of mutants coming our way now. Oh, crap. So be prepared. We're trapped. Our traps are going. They're going hard. Our gate is reinforced with the golden um, thing the sphere does. And good boy, Calvin. No structure damage? I, I don't know. Oh, I heard some noises. There they, are. there they are. Oh, we got legs here. Go. Oh, I better get my shotgun out just in case. Holy crap! Just leave it. Let us do its thing. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he's in! Legsy's in! Yeah, Legsy's in. And he's killed Calvin. Okay. They keep getting Calvin through the door. Yeah. Calvin's having a bad trot. Oh, I wish we had that thing closer. Oh. Ooh. How do you get inside? I reckon they shimmy through the door. Yeah, they spawn through. Um, these are the leopard um, spotted demons. They are. I'm letting them in. Okay. Whoop. Oh, I'm out of again. Damn it. That sucks. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's the, that's the leopard ones. Oh, the lazy's gone. Oh, jeepers. You don't have god mode on, do you? No. <laughs> oh, that's a new new mutant too. I haven't even seen that one yet. Yeah, that's a leopard one. Nice. It's spotted or... There's a couple of them. Oh, oh, oh there's another oh, Lexi, 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 Lexi. Another Lexi. Oh, jeepers. Are you down again? Got to, oh, yeah, I've got to get god mode on. That's like three Lexies at least, if not four. Hang on, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yep, yep, I'm I'm gonna bolt back and put... Oh, hang on, I gotta get this guy. Oh, there's another one. No, that's... I'm sorry, I'm trying. It's alright, while well, I'm dead. There we go. Run. Run, 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 run! Run like the wind. Oh god, now we got mutants, uh, cannibals as well. Uh... Okay. You know what? All things considered, our base is not too bad. They jumped over. There were those legs. Uh, they, they jumped, jumped over. High. Yeah. We might need to they reinforce that wall a little bit more. Okay. Well. Or make it so they don't even get to the wall with that. Um, reloading. With that, uh, what they call it, um, new, new blueprint thing. Trying to reload, but I'm. Um, yeah. Just trying to reset some traps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
We could have planned that a little bit better. <laughs> oh, there's a bit of carnage out here. Just a little bit. We just got to reset all this. Those Ubers are working quite well, aren't they? Oh, hell yeah. I love those Ubers. Where's Calvin when you need him, eh? Trying to recover? He's probably <laughs> dead. Alright, we got it. We... Yeah. Oh, they're still coming. Oh, just let them get chomped up. <laughs> so, either this thing doesn't work on... Uh, mutants, or it's not close enough. Not quite, yeah. We Might should be that, right? We should have let them come in. Yeah. Up, up to us. Yeah. To see if it actually worked, but yeah. Well, we could spawn another one down the bottom there. Oh, That's yeah, the here you one. go. The sol solar fight's here, dude. Is it, oh, so it turned up? Yep. Okay. It just takes a minute. Takes a minute. Yeah. Let's turn it oh, back on. We'll get some more solar fight going. You wouldn't expect it to drop, um... Like, quick, would ya? No. It did take a minute. But we got there. At least you don't have to go looking for solar fight, so how good's that? Yeah. Okay, so that's my armor now golden twice. That's what that does, and you can continue finishing the game, essentially. Now, the very, very last item I want to show you is actually already set up inside the house. There's no point doing it, but I'll show you how to turn it on and off. Basically the same way as you would turn on any of the other ones. You activate it. Teleport. Then your teleport is ready to go. You look down, you can change it. This will turn your stuff gold. Go down. That will make you be able to teleport. We'll do a quick teleport now. And a big flash of light, as people have mentioned. <laughs> And you're back in your home. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that's um, pretty much it for this um, this update on all the blueprints. The two that we missed last night. Apologize about that. We had no idea about them, but it is what it is. We learn new things. That's why you guys are out there to prove me wrong. And I love it. <laughs> I love when people send me these comments saying, Oi, you know you missed this. I'm like, no, I had no idea. Thank you for letting me know. Because I love it. Otherwise, I'll never learn. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully, this helped a lot of people. Because now we actually have everything, finally. And I'm going to get my solar fire. <laughs> uh, my solar fire's not ready yet. Okay. When the machine turns off, then you know your solar fire's ready. And this thing chews solar fire. So if you want to defend your place constantly, you need to fully fill it up all the time. Lovely. How many Already solar fire? Six. Six. On Take six. Yep, okay. And this doesn't take anything, you just gotta activate it every single time. And, and this this takes, this, this this takes twelve. But you only need to do your armor once. Yep. Once you've done it once, you you are pretty much good. You know, you don't need it again. Unless your mate needs to do it, then I suppose you already have it with you. Yeah. Um does the teleport need any solophyte? Teleport needs no solophyte whatsoever. Oh. It's always active. So you never have to worry about turning it on or off. Because yep. no matter what, it's always running. Okay. Alrighty. Beautiful. Magic. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully, this helps some people out. If you could please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. That would be awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.